in elasticity we started with price elasticity and then we came out with a formula to calculate price elasticity it is percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in price or change in quantity upon original quantity into price upon change in price then we did point elasticity point elasticity is always measured when the demand curve is straight line and the formula to calculate point elasticity is lower segment divided by upper segment and then we did arc elasticity arc elasticity is measured when the demand curve is actually curvy linear it is in the form of a curve so finding elasticity of a curve is difficult to find the elasticity here we what we do is we take any two points on the curve we join the points form a form a chord and with the help of a chord a curve is formed or a arc is formed and then we take the quantities and the prices at those two relative points and put them in this formula the formula is q1 minus q2 upon upon q1 plus q2 into p1 plus p2 upon p1 minus p2 so this is how we calculate arc elasticity and finally we did total outlay method in total outlay method we measure the change in expenditure because outlay in itself means expenditure so when the total outlay increases we say the elasticity of demand is greater than 1 or elastic when the total outlay remains constant we say the elasticity of demand equals to 1 or it is unitary elasticity and finally when the total outlay reduces we call it as inelastic demand where the numerical would be less than 1 and then we did a slide which showed us the interpretation of price elasticity of demand as to whatever numerical we get how do we know if the elasticity is perfectly elastic or perfectly inelastic relatively elastic relatively inelastic or unitary elasticity